After a decade of success, Novak Djokovic has parted ways with his coaching team. With the former world number one search for a title winning form ongoing, it was a painful but understandable decision. My career was going in the right direction upwards mostly uh, ever since I entered the professional waters and so this is for the first time probably that I'm experiencing other direction and of course it makes you uh, you know question yourself your game whether you're th doing things right or wrong it was definitely not an easy decision considering the close relationship I have had with all these guys for over the years in tennis that's extremely rare to have a team around you for for that length of time um, you know, so I think rather than seeing it sort of negatively, it should be viewed more, more positively that they had, you know, a great run, obviously achieved great things together. From my own experience, uh, you know, things like that can even help you to be a little bit more motivated and uh, help you to uh, focus a bit more and to just to find yourself. And, uh, you know, that, that could be the thing that uh, Novak is looking for and maybe a new team can guide him to good results. For most on the tour, regular coaching changes are a part of life. Rafa Nadal for years famously worked primarily with his uncle Tony, only recently adding former world number one Carlos Moya to his team. I think it was a great decision uh, having uh, Carlos, Francis, Antonio on the team together. I think is a big help and uh, they are uh, working together in a very good way, very positive way uh, and I feel very comfortable. No, Carlos came with uh, Good motivation, bringing some uh, important new things on, on the practices and, uh, and I am very, very happy with him. Even though it's individual sport, uh, you, you need to have people that you trust and you need to have uh, also a really good team that uh, can support you day in, day out. Some days are bad, you can lose your rhythm a little bit in your technique uh, and it's always good to have someone there with you to help out and, and I think also when it comes to the tactical part, uh, tennis is on such a high level now, it's all about playing maybe a little bit smarter, it's something that you can help out with behind the scenes. It's really important to have people around you that you trust and people that you feel can really help you day in and day out be better, be a better person, be a better tennis player and that will hold you accountable as well when your habits tend to rear off the right path. And it's a return to the right path that Djokovic is searching for. For the Serbs' new coach, the priority will be to rediscover that elusive winning mentality. Confidence is a tricky thing in professional sport. Once you start losing some matches that were close and then all of a sudden that maybe doubt kind of sneaks in and uh, you know I need to go back to basics and really analyze the game. I trust the process, I trust my own abilities and I hope that life will uh, grant me with some success in the near future.